All right, everybody. We're gonna. Uh, we've been stuck in the house because the coronavirus. Not really, but <clears throat> supposed to be. So we've been craving brisket. So I bought one over the weekend, and we're fixed. I've got the smoker. We're gonna smoke it all night, and I'll show you all that later. <clears throat> but we just have a regular. Uh, I think this is a a choice brisket. It's about a 14 pounder and we're fixing to trim it out of, or get it um, out of the package and we'll rinse it off, pat it down dry and then we'll put it on this deal and we'll start trimming some of the fat and some of the stuff off the top of, get it all ready, trim some of that cap off the back so fat, the fat side so I'm going to get it out of the package now. <clears throat> Hope all y'all are staying well, all of our friends. And y'all have plenty of food. It's not really that wet. We need to butcher another cow so we don't have to go buy this, but I guess we'll settle this time. <laughs> So you're going to pat that dry now? Yeah, you want we'll some, some paper, paper towels? towels yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut. <clears throat> I'm going to start cutting. This is the back side of it. This is the flat, and then this is the point end. But it's the back side of the fat part. I'm going to start trimming and cutting some of this fat off because this won't. This part here will not cook. Uh, I think they call it render. It's, it's going to stay. It's not going to... It's not going to melt away, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to trim it up, start trimming it up with this knife. And after I get it all trimmed up and ready here on the back, then we'll uh, come back to you. But it's got a lot that we're going to cut away here and get rid of. So. All right, he's got that. Okay, this is the back. back the, I'm sorry, the fat side, bottom. And it's pretty much. Yeah, look at all that. I mean, you can leave you leave a little on there, but uh, get most of that. So now I'll turn it over. This is called the flat, and this is called the point. Now, this right here, we're going to get rid of this too, and then this deal goes all the way around. If you look, it's like this. So. Basically, once we're done, when it's cooked, we're going to cut down at an angle, and then this is the point. The good it's gonna, end. It's going to be off, and this will be the slat, the stuff for, for, slice. for slicing. So we're going to get rid of the, this hunk of fat here. You will never, it won't, it's not going to cook down. I mean, it's like solid. So we're going to trim it, get, get some of it off of here. Some people cook that down and keep the fat off of it for for grease. I don't think we're gonna do it this time. No. Okay. Let's see what you did over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still got some. You're not gonna get it all out. We're gonna trim some of this off too. Y'all wait till see how he makes a bark with all these spices. Oh, they're so delicious. Has a good crusty bark on it. And then this stuff here, <clears throat> uh, I guess you just call it skin. If you can get most of that off there, whoops. You uh, try this one's not real bad. I've seen a lot worse because I get it off of there because if you pour all your seasonings and stuff on here, <clears throat> it won't penetrate through that hard fat and that skin. It it won't cook down and get um, tender. So I try to trim. Just spend a little bit of time getting it all off as if you can. 
Drake's always interested in what's going on in the kitchen. Drake! <laughs> I'm going to cut a, like a small V in this, like that, and I'm going to, it comes around. Part. Yeah, on the point, I think is what they call it. Okay. I still got a lot in there. Anyways, that's not going to cook all the way down. But we're going to cut that out in a minute or later whenever it's done. I like to get out as much of that fat as we can. Anyway, that's <clears throat> that's pretty close. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see the amount of yeah. fat. I mean, you can buy them trimmed. But if you do, you end up paying more for them, I think. So, I guess that's fat all the way down. So, we'll just cut that out later. But that's just solid lard. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now that I got it trimmed up the way I want it, I'm going to take a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to start on the back side, on the, uh, the normally fattier part. And I'm not going to put a whole lot of seasoning on this because I guess I'll probably put as, a little bit, but I'll put more on the top side. But I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on this, just like this, and then I'm going to rub it down. And the reason I'm doing that is to make it uh, where the seasonings and stuff will stick to the uh, brisket better. And I'm just going to take, uh, it's raining, great. I'm going to take some pepper. This one's open, I'll just do it this way. Regular old pepper. I think they call this a Texas rub. It's a Texas brisket rub or whatever. This is garlic powder. It's it's a dry rub, I guess you'd say. And I do a little bit of seasoned salt. I know it looks like a lot, but it really ain't. It's not, and it makes a good crust. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to, this is the first time I'm using this. It's called Grub Rub. My brother uses it a lot, and I've liked the stuff that he tried. I got it at an academy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put some of that on. Whoops. You want to cover it so it doesn't have any okay then I'm gonna tap it just kind of pat it in there this is the bottom part mind you we're gonna cook it with this side down on the smoker yeah I'll just flip that dude over Just gonna basically repeat the process. He's gonna put this on tonight and it's gonna go all night. And we'll have this for lunch tomorrow. That's a potato salad. It'll be the first Sunday that all the churches are closed down here in Texas. Because of the corona. Be weird not going to church. We're going to have it online. All right. Might as well try to use up the rest of this. So you put more on the top than you do the, than you do the back. Right? Uh, well, I guess. I mean, I... We have an electric pellet stove. He put it up on the porch. Or a Traeger. It's a pellet smoker. It's not a stove. Yeah, that's what I meant. You don't need to be talking when you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. About. <laughs> 
hopefully we won't be smelling this all night. Surely not on the porch. All right, I got these at Academy. You can use Traeger pellets, you can use whatever you want. This is hickory. Uh, I'm just gonna pour them in this hopper over here. And I put it on smoke, and I'm just now getting it started. That amount right there will probably do the whole, <laughs> or at least it'll go all night for sure. But I'll check it. I just got it started. It's just now starting to smoke, build up smoke, so we'll be ready to put it on here in a minute. side down. Just like that. Do you have it on low or medium? I got or it on smoke, which smoke? you want it to be about, uh, about, well, everybody has their preference. I, I, I like it between 180 and uh, about 220. So if you get it too hot, and then you're not smoking anymore, you're barbecued. So, there we go. He wants to check the temperature of the smoker to see if it's because it's cold outside. Cold outside sometimes. What I'll do, if the wind's blowing or whatever, I have a cover that I usually cover it up with, and I'll take this rack off and I'll lay that cover over it just to kind of help insulate the deal. So, because I don't have the fancy one yet that <laughs> has the digital thermometer on it. You, you can set it exactly what you want. Mine's either smoke, medium, or high. So if it's really cold, I'll have to run mine on medium to get it to maintain the temperature I want. But right now we're at, what? We're still climbing, we're at 178. If it'll get a little warmer than that, I may be able to leave it on smoke and then I'll just cover it with that for the night. It should be good. And it's about 7.30. In the evening, yeah. In the evening. So what I'll do in the morning after I, I'll probably get up around 7.30, 8ish, and then I'll come outside and put, I will probably check the bark, and see if it's good and hard, and then I will wrap it in foil. And we'll continue to cook it for another probably two or three hours and then when we take it off whenever it reaches about 205 anywhere from 195 to 205 somewhere in there is done and then we're going to take it out and put it in uh, wrap it up and let it rest in the ice chest and we'll show you all that later that's perfect if it'll stay like that right there mm -hmm. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this rack off and just lay that cover across it so it doesn't lose any because it's going to get colder tonight. It's going to get down in the 50s. So it stays right at 200. That's I'm, cold for us Texans. No, it's not really cold. It's just <laughs> hard to maintain your yeah. heat. You want to maintain your I know we have some heat. really northern friends. Y'all have still a lot of ice on the ground. Open it. Like a blanket. 
your smoker. All right. We'll check it in the morning. Good morning. Let's see what we got. Excuse me. It's almost done. Is it done? It's almost done. It's at 180 something. It needs to be about 190. 190 to 205. Or 192 to 205. So it'll continue to cook in that foil. it up and then you're just going to let it smoke for just a little bit longer until it's... And then we'll put it on the... How much longer are you going to let it go? Maybe another hour or two, hour at the most. Yeah, because it needs to be at 205 or so. Alright, but we're getting close. And it's a beautiful morning. when it's done yeah the temperature's uh at 196 it's been going since like 7 30 last night so it's probably 12 hours or well longer than that probably about 13 hours we'll take it inside and we'll wrap it in a towel and we're gonna put it in the cooler no drink <clears throat> What does that do to rest it? It lets it get all the, the uh, juices will reabsorb back into there. Just makes it more moist and stuff. That's way... For how long? Some people say up to four hours. I'll probably do this one up to three, probably three and a half, four. Time. Yeah, because we're fixed just now eat breakfast, so should be good. Great. You're not getting none of this. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at all that steam in there. It's been in there for about... Four hours. Yeah. Still really hot, too. When you have a quarantine day, all you do is sit around and cook. Seems like, huh? It's on there perfect. All right. Hopefully this is... Smells good, guys. Nice. Still steaming after four hours. Yeah. That's the burn ends. You want to lift it up and I'll grab the foil? Well, what do you think? How are you going to keep it in the foil? I don't guess it matters. <clears throat> Mm 
Okay. That's the cap. We can cut. Look at that. Mm. It's very juicy. Okay, that's the flat part. And here's the point. That's supposed to be the best part. Let's try this. Now that's what you call a burn in, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm. Let's try a piece that's more um where the sliced brisket would be. Juicier. Look at that juice just pouring out of there. It's got a nice smoke ring around the meat. Mm -hmm. You can see. Oh yeah. This here is probably gonna be like heaven in your mouth. This is falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Right on point. I was worried that it was going to be a little dry, but it's not. And this bark is is perfect. It's really good. You can chop this up. A lot of people make chopped out of this and then sliced out of the flat part, out of the point. So. You could even make some tacos. Oh, you can do whatever you want. You put some barbecue sauce on it. and mm. So... If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you consider subscribing so you can see more of our videos. That, that smoke green people want. Yeah, it's beautiful. <clears throat> All right. All right, guys. We're going to eat. We'll see you on the next video.